month of May, I know there's 31 days in May, that last day you're gonna have graduate workout. Each workout is going to be approximately 20 minutes. Some of you guys may take longer in the beginning, but as you start to go, you should be no more than 20 minutes. Now, the 30-day challenge is designed to bring you from A to Z with a kettlebell workout. I'm assuming that most of you know the kettlebell basics. Most of you out there are my clients. Some of you aren't, but hopefully after this video you will become. All right, today's workout, we're gonna start out with the basic bells. We have three bells. If you're out there and you're uh, trying to decide what bells to get, we start with a basic eight, okay, which is 16 pounds. You got your 12, which is 26, and we got our 16, which is 35 pounds. Right now, the 16 represents the swing. Uh, this is our swing press, and we do a lot of Russian twists and get ups with that. You can get away with two bells if you want, but as long as you have something that you can manage. Now, let's get into our workout. Every day is going to be a different workout. So a lot of times, the workouts that we have are going to build on the workouts that we've done before. So today I'm going to start out with simple movement to get your heart rate up. The first exercise that we're going to do is called the Goblin Squat. Okay, so today's workout will have the Goblin Squat going to two hand swings. We're going to do what we call a ladder drill. So we're going to start out with 10 Goblin Squats, 10 swings. 9 Goblin Squats, 9 swings. We're going to work our way all the way down to 1. Now Cynthia is here, she's going to demonstrate the movement because tomorrow she's going to actually do her workout, okay? <laughs> but she is going to be one of my demonstrators. And each time I shoot a video, I'm going to shoot to get more and more of my clients to come in on this presentation. So she's going to demonstrate the Goblin Squat. She's going to grab the bell, two hands, hold it to her chest, up. As she's squatting down, elbows to the knees, she's going to hold that position. Come up, park that bell down. All right, now she's going to turn on the side. I want you to face me, okay? So you people out there, you can see how straight her back is. Let's hold it to the chest. This is what we're aiming for. And it might take us some time to get down there, so we need to warm up before we start our workout. She's coming down into a squat, sitting back on her heels. Notice how straight her back is. Now when she comes up, She's driving with her shoulders first, driving her heels through the floor, squeezing the glutes up top. Go down, give me five squats. Good. Exhaling on the way up. Awesome. Keep going. Good. Come on. Give me one more, you. And relax. All right, so she parks her bell using her legs. Now, the next movement from there is to go to a swing. Now, some of you guys are advanced. Okay, so you can stay with that bell and do your squats with that bell and go to this swing. Okay, but we're going to let Cynthia, since she's been working out today, we're going to let her go to the 12. Normally she'll be swinging the 35. She's going to give me 10 two-hand swings. Go. When you're swinging, you want to aim. Keep that back straight. How far do I bring that kettlebell up? First of all, it shouldn't go higher than your shoulders, but more importantly, the end of my swing, my knees should be locked, my chin should be straight. Keep going, come on, and relax. Now we go back to our squats. All right, yep. She's gonna give me nine squats on this one. We're gonna make believe she did 10 the first one. So this one's nine. Good, awesome. Keep that chest up. Notice how straight that back is. Get a little bit of cardio versus strength on this workout. Excellent job, Cynthia. Keep going. Nice, you got it, that was nice. and park it, nice, all right, now we go back to the other bell, nine two-hand swings, good, good, keep that back straight, awesome, beautiful, locking those knees up top, breathing, let the bell fall, and using the hips, beautiful, awesome, and park it. So there you have it, folks. This is workout one. So we start out with 10 goblin squats, 10 two-hand swings, nine goblin squats, nine two-hand swings. We want to work it all the way till we get to one. Thank you so much, Cynthia. <laughs> You've been great. I'll see you guys on the next workout.